Hey guys, it's Violet, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do um, a Violet Baudelaire hairstyle. And if you don't know who Violet Baudelaire is, she's from the series of Unfortunate Events. And those are my favorite books in the history of the world. I love them, like, so much. And um, I am just going to be showing you how to do, like, I'm just doing a tutorial on how to do her hair like it's styled in the movie. This is not like it how it is in the books, um, but... Um, but how it is in the movie. I'm using Erin. She's number 35, I think. Yeah. Um, but, and I think it looks more like the movie if you do it on, um, a layered hair doll. Preferably her, because she kind of, like, because in the movie, um, Violet has, like, reddish auburn hair. And she's, like, the closest to this. She's, like, the closest doll that, that has, like, that looks like her. I think that's just my opinion. But I think it looks cuter and more like Violet Baudelaire on a layered hair doll because you have because in the movie she has these little bang pieces and the layers right there. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing it on her, and you can do it on any doll. So you're just gonna start brushing out her hair, and then you, so you separate to get like the bangs like she has in the movie. You just take the the a little piece of like the layeredness right there and then just kind of section it off uh, it doesn't have to be perfect but there's something in her eye but yeah that's actually a little too much but yeah it doesn't have to be huge the section but yeah that's like perfect size and then you just like brush it and you take a little section um and then it's probably a little too thick and take a little section and then so the section in your hand you're just going to braid it Okay, once you have it braided, you're just going to tie it off with a hair tie. And for this, I usually don't use these hair tie there's hairstyle things. Um the but I use the elast the actual elastic ones rather than other ones. And just tie it off. Oh, and I'm really sorry about my nails. They look really gross because I tried painting them blue, but it didn't really work too well. And the nail polish remover wasn't working. So I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, so now you have one sec, one braid done. And in the movie, she only has, she has this braid and then another braid in the back. Um, but Erin's hair is a little too thick for just one braid. Um, so I usually just do three braids on this side. So you're just going to do the same thing. Just get a small section. And make sure to keep this piece out of her hair. Like, out of the braids. And so then you just braid this like you did for that one. For this one. And then you just do the same thing. You tie it off with a elastic hair tie. Whoa. Whoa. Can't grab it. <laughs> hair ties keep flying out of my hands. Yeah, so now that that's those, so now you have two braids. But like I said before, in the movie she only has one. But Aaron's hair is a little bit too thick. Oh, and I'm sorry for the noises in the background. My brother and his my brother has some friends over right now. So now you're just going to. Now you have well, um, you have the back, and you're just going to like part it down the middle.
and then take this section and just take this section and braid this. So I just tied it off with the elastic. And now for the other side. Okay, now you're gonna do this side. Um, and it's different, so don't just like do the other side. You can, it's just it won't be like the movie. Um, so what you're gonna do is just brush it and just take a little section, like right here, and make sure it's like not grabbing any other clipping, like any other piece of hair. And take like a little, like a section right there. And then you braid this. Okay, now you have it braided. Just tie it off with an elastic. And with this braid that I'm doing right now, it's best to have it be a very tight braid. It looks better. It looks more like it looks cooler that way. But yes, now it kind of looks like that. And now just take a small section in the back. Can you see that? Good. That. Yeah, it's better. Sorry. Um, then just take a small section. And then just braid that. So that is basically all you have to do, all you do, and there she looks like right below there. Oh, and you also should section off this piece right here, it's just the bangs, yeah. So this is the finished look, um, there's this side. There's just three braids, and then that side. There's that one's kind of hidden. And then there's that one. And quickly before I sign out, before I sign off for this video, you can tie her hair up in a ribbon like she does. Like Violet Baudelaire does when she's thinking of an, an invention. Okay, yes, I know this is a hair tie, but it helps keep the ribbon on. And if you haven't read the books, and you want to know why she ties her hair up in a ribbon, so she can clear her, well, to keep the hair, her hair out of her eyes, obviously, but to keep, so she can see the invention, the gears in her head twirling, I guess. Um, but so she can clear her eyes for an invention. Oops. So that's what she looks like. That one's kind of falling out, but so that's what she looks like. And I, and if you have a doll or you are obsessed with a series of unfortunate events like I am, then you should try this hairstyle on your 18-inch American Girl doll today. <laughs> yeah. And just in case you're wondering, I am reading the series. I've read it like three times. This is like no, this is the third time I've read. I've read this series, and I'm on the tenth book, which is The Slippery Slope, and there's Sunny up there. Um, and yeah, I really recommend these books. They're my favorite books in the whole series, like in the whole bo 
world of books. I mean, they're really awesome. And if you read this series, comment who your favorite character is in the series. Yeah, so my battery's gonna die, so I would talk more, but I can't. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Bye!